Hello, hello. Audio test, how we... How we... How we listening, hearing? What's my volume like? Can we hear me? That, that's the important thing. As long as you can hear me and it's not too quiet, then all is good. Oh, and I see so many lovely and familiar faces in chat already. Audio is good. Thank you very much, Erica. How we all have we had a good week? As always, it goes far too fast, and it's Saturday before I even know it. We are starting a bit later today, because I had a SS2 meeting earlier. We normally meet on the weekends to discuss important things, like... Should we bring old Paul back from the dead? And usually we decide, no. No, he should remain dead. Dead in the ground. That, that's, that's where he goes. <laughs> Audio is good, thank you. Very good. Glad to hear it. So I've watched uh, two more episodes of the Fallout TV show, and I'm somewhat happy to say things get better. So anyone who uh, was here for the last stream, we didn't play any Fallout 4, despite the fact that that's kind of what we're meant to be doing. Uh, and instead, I ranted for over an hour about how I wasn't really in love with the Fallout TV show. Uh, so I had, I had watched episodes 1 and 2, uh, and I wasn't impressed. Um, but now I've watched episodes 3 and 4, and okay, I'm, I'm, I'm in a more positive mood about it. So if I was to give each episode a score, uh, the first episode I think I gave a 5 out of 10. The next episode I only gave a 4 out of 10. And in hindsight, certain parts of it I would give a 3 out of 10. Like, I, it really made me unhappy. Uh, certain parts and just the writing and how it was uh, directed and the pacing. There were so many things that just made me go, ugh. Episode 3. Instantly better than the previous one. So that was good. I'd say I'm was about 6 out of 10 now. And about the same for episode 4, about 6 out of 10. So, good to know I'm not going crazy, because I've seen a lot of positive uh, response around the TV show. And, at least from watching the first two episodes, I could not understand why people were saying that. So you, you start thinking, is it me? Am I wrong? And no. No, it's, it's the children. They're the ones who were wrong, yes. Simpsons reference for anyone who might be confused by that one. Uh, but it, it does get better, so it's uh, I'm hoping that keeps improving, and maybe towards the end of the show, I'm like, oh, wow, it's a it's a 7 out of 10 now, and that, that's pretty good, okay. Uh, Khan says, I feel like the first two episodes were really rushed and flashy just to draw people in. I would agree with that, but I think they were, they were rushed in terms of they didn't give us what we needed, but also they dragged on because they spent way too much time on, on certain scenes where, like... At least half of it was in slow motion for the first episode. That annoyed me. We don't need that much slow motion. I think I spent at least 10 minutes ranting about the slow motion, and that would have been less time than the slow motion that was in episode 1. But I I'm hoping it's an upward trend. I hope all the uh, future episodes get better. Um, and th that's good. It, you know, um, I've heard that uh, more people are playing Fallout 4 now than, like, ever. So, good for Fallout 4 and Bethesda, I guess. I think they're happy. I think most people seem to be happy with the show. Um, I'm thinking towards the end I'm probably going to write it off as, eh, it was alright. You know, if it, if I could go back in time and uh, somehow get on the show as a writer or something, I, I'd tell them just, just fix some of these things in the first few episodes and it'll make it better and I'll be happy and the audience will be happy. And But we don't live in that universe, sadly, where I can just do whatever I want to improve things on my arbitrary whims. But I do live in a universe where we make something called Sim Settlements 2. So let's uh, let's play more of that. Uh, but, but, oh, we have to launch the game first. That would help. Let's see. Um, hmm. I'm sure I had things open, but maybe I closed them. All right. Let's... Uh... Ooh. Oh, that's not good. My computer's being a bit sluggish today. That's worrying, because usually it's never sluggish. Let's quickly have a look at the uh, background processes, make sure something isn't running that maybe shouldn't be. Okay, it looks like uh, my browser is eating up a lot of uh, a lot of CPU, which makes sense. I do have a lot of windows open as usual. Okay, I'm going to keep an eye on that. If things are a bit sluggish, maybe I'll have to uh, take a short break and do a reset and just uh, clean out. 
any weird stuff that's running in the background there. Although I've not done much today, so I'm not sure what's caused that. Anyway, let's uh, launch Fallout 4. And see if I can remember where we left off, because I seem to remember we were maybe building up a settlement, because I think we needed power for the HQ. Don't quote me on that. I could be completely wrong. We might have been in the, a Nightingale quest or a CPD quest. I don't think we've started the CPD yet, though. Okay, I'm just going to skip past the uh, the title music there so we don't get the copyright strike. Switch over to game and let's move you guys onto my second monitor so I can see what you're saying. Synth Paul, Mutant Paul, AI Paul. We've many, we've many options, but it won't be the real Paul, I'm afraid. I'm afraid he's dead. Dead Paul. Okay. That's right. Okay, we had just uh, done the quest to secure Oberlin Station. We built a recruitment beacon, and I'm thinking some of these people have shown up. Mm -hmm. Hey. I just wanted to introduce myself. Uh-huh. Anyway, I just wanted to say thanks for the opportunity. So, let me know if you have anything you need me to do. Uh, no. Not right now. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to ask them what they need. They need a lot of things. So let's see if we can build a... Yeah, what do you call it? A... Work desk. No, we need circuitry. We have no circuitry. Okay. Let's uh, travel to Sanctuary, where hopefully... We have some circuit. No, no, this is what we were doing last time. We didn't have circuitry. Okay, we're going to go to... We're going to go to Diamond City. We're going to buy something that has some circuitry in it. We're going to come back here. Build a desk. And then uh, make a city plan and hopefully get some electricity flowing to the HQ. <laughs> Are we going to see this baseball game? How exciting! What kind of person see a red dwarf. With a robot? Oh uh, quote there in chat. Yeah, sick, Very good, well done. Every piece in here is worth what I charge for it. No argument. Let's see what you have. A bit of everything. Okay, what has... Circuitry, oh good. I would buy those ASAMs, but we're broke. Uh, I need to start selling things or picking up more caps. Oh, or maybe collecting taxes from my settlements. If I can remember how to do that. Although, I don't think we really have many um, commercial plots, so... Uh, Probably not much in the way of taxes at the moment. Now, usually when I've been playing for real, I find you can get a lot of money from settlements with not much effort, really. Which is uh, great when you're doing a hardcore playthrough and there's very few uh, resources around. Nice day, huh? It really encourages you to build up a settlement because now it's a natural source of revenue. So definitely recommend it for... Hardcore playthroughs. Sort of investing that time. But it can also become really overpowered. Like, way too many caps. Now I'm thinking... Uh, this recruitment beacon and this generator that we built before. That's going to get uh, scrapped if we do a city plan. So, uh... Hmm. I'm going to store them. Because I'm fairly sure a city plan will usually come with those things. Okay. Uh, if I ever need that is not what I wanted to do. I want to target that blueprint. There we go. Can Curie be the leader? No. Ah, because she's my companion. Okay. Hey. Do you need something from me? Hold up a sec. Do you need a steam pack? Ooh, steam pack, I yes, please. Extra. Oh, I wish I could keep taking her with me, uh, but we need a mate. I think it's about time we called it quits. I look forward to resuming our journeys. Okay, you go to Oberland. Okay, now hopefully she can be mayor. No. Darn it. I'm fairly sure we can't make a city plan without mayor. Let's try anyway. Oh, maybe we can. Okay, we got one city plan. Use this one. 
Hmm, maybe I have it in the settings where... Uh-oh, we've got the music. We're going to get a copyright strike. Got to get out of it. <laughs> I'll just have to stand back and uh, watch how it builds itself over here where it's safe. Oh, we're being dragged back into it. Okay, we've got the alternate music. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's uh, catch up on chat. So we're, we're talking about old Paul. Yeah, poor old Paul. <laughs> Replicating with Mr. Handy. I guess you could uh, hand wave that someone downloaded or created a copy of his personality and programmed it into a robot who just reuses uh, settler lines. That'd be a, a fun Easter egg, maybe. Because technically we lose a lot by losing Paul. Hello, Guiding Star. Welcome. Oh, that got built fast. I guess we're, we've only got a small uh, outpost here. But we need power, so I don't think we have anyone here who would be good for that. Let's see, power, I think, is intelligence, I think. Okay, not bad. Four across the board. What about you? Uh, good charisma, okay. Could run a store. Decent look. Uh, I don't think look does anything. I don't think that affects any of the, uh, the plots. I think I missed. There we go. Uh, four across the board. I think those are default settler stats. I think those are the two people who live here normally. Did we scan this guy? Nope, and his stats suck. Decent perception, I guess. Hmm, okay. Let's see what we've got. We have... A, if I can find the plot. Nope, <laughs> that, that plot is... Oh, it's all the way up here. Okay, so we got a commercial store up here. I do like uh, the effort of Strong Wensu to make sure that that's... Uh, Level slash not level with the ground there. I feel very sorry for the person who has to put down anything on a desk in there that's just going to roll away. Okay, what do we have here? A residential plot. I'm thinking we can sacrifice that residential plot. Uh, what is this one? I think it's also residential. Oh, yep, residential. Okay, we're going to sacrifice uh, this residential over here because no one's... No one's living there anyway, and we'll try to make that into a municipal plot. Okay, I think I'm doing this wrong. No, advanced. Destroy plot, configure defaults. Okay, I've done that wrong. Um, building plan, customize plot. Change plot type. There we go. Blah, blah, blah. We want a municipal. Go boom. And municipal. Okay, building plans. Uh, hmm. Now we could build. Okay, we don't have advanced power yet. I think if we got um, what's his name? Ghoul with the glowing eyes. Um, Archon. I think that's Archon. I think he gives us advanced power. Ha. <laughs> uh, sanitation. So we can have advanced water or basic power. Let's go with basic power for now. Anyone off the top of your head remember what special stat is used for power? And we'll see if we've got anyone here. I think it's intelligence. Charisma. Someone had four intelligence. I think it was you. Okay, you'll do. You are going to be our power person. Intelligence for power. Thank you, Erica. Okay, you. You work here. That was important. And then I think we also need to connect to the... Uh, connect it up to the power grid somehow. I'll let it get built first. Uh, Erica also says, Or oh, maybe do a cliche okay. su surprise identical twin that no one knows about until he shows up. Uh, well, for... For spoilers, for anyone who's not uh, seen or played it yet, 
uh, during old Paul's funeral, his son does show up, who is, he's old Paul Jr. Uh, in almost every literal sense. So we did toy with the idea of um, having him be sort of a replacement old Paul. Um, and we may have got old Paul's uh, voice actor back to voice his son. And they sound exactly the same. Therefore, we could reuse all of old Paul's previous lines. But that felt... It would be funny, but it would be very obvious. And I, I think it would uh, ultimately not feel that good. So uh, we didn't go with that plan. But it was an idea that we threw about of like, meh, maybe we could do this. And um, it, it would feel kind of good to get Paul back in a way, but not really. Okay, let's see. Okay, so uh, we have the Nightingales. We can secure Taffetum Boathouse for the Minutemen. We've got to kill some Raiders and call Vega. What I might do is pop over there and just uh, use my magical powers to, to kill all those nasty Raiders. And we can start the... Uh, new Liberty Trading Company at any time, but I might wait until Chapter 3 for that. And also, we have to reactivate all the Relay Towers. I don't think we have any that are close by, let me see. Map. Uh, okay, we've got one over here. Maybe we'll stop by there before we return to GNN. Uh, make engram tapes of old Paul and force Magnuson to live in the same computer with him. Hmm... I'm fairly sure we could come up with some very convoluted reason of how and why old Paul had a duplicate of his brain that the player can find. Ooh. Okay, this is clever. I like this uh, expansion of the uh, of the train control house thing here. That almost looks base game. That almost tricked me. Good job, Strong. You You fooled me. That's cute. I like that. I like um, when there's creative use of the pre-existing buildings. That's a... Can I get rid of this? Yeah, let's get rid of that. It's in the way. Uh, Frankenstein Paul, perhaps. Maybe, maybe. We could bring back a... Old Paul zombie. Just make him a ghoul. And say zombies are ghouls at the same thing. Kind of like the Fallout TV show does. Although, something I complained about before of uh, ghouls seem to be like the undead now. They explained it a bit more in the future episodes. I think I get what they're going for. It's like, um... All ghouls are going to turn feral eventually. Which they do. That makes sense. But to stop it, that they have to... Uh, spoilers for anyone. Uh, apologize for... If you've not seen the Fallout TV show yet. It seems to suggest that to stop from turning feral... Ghouls have to drink lots of... Um, Radaway. Or sort of anti-radiation stuff. And that stops them from becoming feral. And this is something that all ghouls need. So that's kind of a retcon there. And um, kind of goes against base game lore, I think. Because, you know, most ghouls seem to like radiation. And it seems to make them feel good and warm and toasty. And it sustains them. And it heals them as well. Uh, whilst in the TV show, it seems to imply that the more radiation they have, the more close they become to becoming feral. So that kind of implies that radiation is still a bad thing for them. So I don't know. There does seem to be some retcon lore, and um, some things changed in um, in terms of what's happened before, and how things work now in the TV show. And I'm okay with that, as long as they don't insist, oh no no no, it all makes sense. And also, this is the official lore in the games from going forward. Because you're just asking for trouble there. I know um, under Bethesda, Fallout's played somewhat fast and loose with the lore, but it's like... When you're trying to make the TV show also have consistent lore with the games, you're asking for trouble. Because uh, TV show writers, they're not the same as game writers, they're not going to care about the same stuff. Uh, I really doubt they care about the consistency of this game world. So yeah, it's, just, it's asking for trouble. Irik says, convoluted reasons are the best reasons. Can't it be both? Makes them feel good, heals them, etc., but also hastens their feralness. I mean, it could. I'm fairly sure that just every Fallout thing we've had before now... They've left it vague of uh, what causes ghouls to go feral. In the TV show, they're seeming to make it very clear. And that mm, at least a good majority of ghouls seem to be aware of what they need to do to stop it from happening. So that's that's brand new information that we've not had before, I don't think. Okay, this, uh, this looks like it's been built, but I don't think it's connected up to the grid yet. So, where... Do we have to build that power thing to allow the power to transfer? I think we do. Let's uh, see. I'm not sure how it works with city plans, although this is a 
custom built plan. It's not over here. It's not in storage. Power? Power... Power grid. Why can I not build that? Oh, because we're at our size limit. Okay, we can uh, cheat that by getting rid of something, if there is anything. Oh, I don't want to get rid of the bathtub. What else can we get rid of? Um... Okay, that counted. <laughs> get rid of the shrub. Now we can build the power box. This might not be needed. I'm not sure. I don't think that's it there. No, that's just a normal power pole. Oh, damn it. I, uh... By closing out of it, I got, uh... Got rid of the, uh, workaround. Here, can we scrap this piece of wood? There we go! <laughs> now we can build power box. Uh, let's catch up my chat. Uh, Erica says, I think it's still generic. The children of Atom don't turn into ghouls. Uh, or genetic. Sorry, not generic. Uh, and there are two sentient glowing ones in New Vegas and Yucca World. Uh, undercover hat. Why not use the utility built into the workbench? Ah, okay. This is news to me. Let me go investigate. So, uh, is that the um, redo the power thing? Let's see. Is it under manage? Power tools? No. Auto rewire? Is that what you mean? Or rebuild the power grid and wiring? Or repair the power grid? Or destroy the power grid? We have many options. <laughs> Um, I think it's rebuild the power grid and wiring. I'll wait just two seconds in case Undercover Hat's just typing away at the keyboard there to... Nope! Nope! <laughs> that might be the first thing I said. Uh, back one. Okay. Uh... Okay, so I'm, I'm just going to stay here and, and you can tell me where to go and I will, I will press the buttons and do it correctly. Because otherwise I'm just going to be blindly poking stuff. And whilst that may be funny, I don't think it'll be very productive. Okay, we're waiting. There's typing. Furious typing. Or, Undercover Hat's just messing with me. Uh, where the heck is it? Um, is it some kind of uh, script extender thing? I don't know. I, th I thought it was in the um, Power Tools. And then it was um, one of these rebuild options. Oh, it's configurable build limits. Oh! Is that what you're thinking of? Let's see. Uh, oop. Configurable build limits. Well, that's just to increase the... Unless that's what, what you were talking about before, where we can uh, increase the build limit rather than using that hack workaround to build new stuff. Which I'm not against. I usually boost it by like 100% because my computer seems to be able to uh, take it. Probably not good for bloating up the uh, the size of my save files, though. And yeah, we'll increase it by 25% for now. Uh, yep, yeah, that's what... Okay, that's what you're on about. There wasn't some uh, magical workaround to uh, fix the power thing. Well, let's, uh, let's do what I think we need to do. So I think we build this. And then this uh, thing here. This is, like, where the power comes from. From these plots. And then we just connect that to... Our grid. And all the power went away. <laughs> it went to zero. Okay, now it went up to 40. Fantastic. I think that's what we can And we'll just uh, attach it to this pole here. Get it nice and lined up. That'll do. It's nailed to this uh, pole. Okay, we have 40 power, which uh, it's saying isn't enough, at least according to the vanilla readout, but the readout down below seems to suggest it is. Uh, we need more defense, though. And do we have anyone here who's not working? You are assigned to that plot. Okay, I don't think we need food, really. Maybe? I don't know. Either way, uh, I think maybe defense is important to uh, stop us being attacked. Where is the plot? Oh, oh, there it is. Okay, he's assigned to that. That has been built. Okay, hopefully that keeps this area nice and secure. I don't think we have uh, enough Got it. power. Uh, data. Ooh, come on, rising. There it is. Use the supply agreements in HQ and power transfer plots in the settlements to increase. Okay, so we need to build a power transfer plot. 
Now, this is the first time I've done this in terms of uh, sending power. I'm going to guess we need a good old municipal plot. That seems about right. And we will build it about here. Maybe... Ah, I don't want it getting in the way of everything. Uh, let's do it over... Here. So let's uh, get rid of that first. Okay, that's fine. Ah. And... Let's see if this allows us to build the power transfer plot. Choose building plan... Okay, that's it. We have water, caravan services, communications, hospital, other power transfer. And we're going to make this into our, our power place. <laughs> I might just start sending people here and just make nothing but power generation. That's all this place is good for. Okay, I don't think we've got anyone actually to man that, so... Uh... Don't know what you're doing, but you are now working this plot instead. Uh, let's connect it up to the power grid. Perfect. And that'll probably get us like... Ooh, okay, agility sure. That will get us like 5% of the power we need, most likely. So I think we're definitely going to have to start recruiting more people, sending them here, building more uh, plots to produce power. Hmm. I wonder if we can turn this commercial plot up here into also a power generation. Is there any internal power generation? There must be. So customize, change plot type, municipal. Boop, boop, boop. No one's going to be buying power armor here. Okay, and that's a municipal now. Building plan. Uh, power plan. Except. Hmm. Now, I'm curious. Uh, does this power junction box over here, does like all the power magically flow to this? I'm going to assume it does. Uh, Eric says, don't forget to build some recreational libraries to have settlers improve their intelligence. Ah, that is a good idea. Um, hmm. I'm trying to use some of the pre-existing places because we're kind of low on ASAMs because I've not been playing properly. Okay, this looks like a residence that hasn't been uh, built up. And I think we'll convert one of the residences into uh, a big bunkhouse because that saves us space and also ASAMs. So we'll change this to... Change plot type. We want a recreational. Boom. Blow up those building supplies. We don't need them. And building plant. And we want to train intelligence. Except. I'll get a random building plan. Boop, boop, boop. I think. Did I exit out of that too soon? Or is there only one option, so that's what it's uh, selected. Let's see. Okay, no. Training intelligence. Maybe there's only one option, so we don't have to pop up asking uh, what else we want to build. Undercover Hat says there is a tier 1 municipal power plot in the base mod. I'm not sure about higher tiers for the interior. Yeah, I, I did... I thought I... I mean, I probably do have the, um, the packs installed that give us uh, more different types of plots uh, in terms of the building plans. I don't think it's active right now, though. And I'm, I'm kind of scared to go in and start messing with stuff because usually that breaks. It breaks things. It shouldn't, but it, it usually does. And then I'm stuck trying to fix things that I don't really understand. Okay, th these guys seem happy enough. Um, I don't think we have a agreement of this uh, place yet. So let's go to the HQ. Or maybe we'll stop by this little tower here first. Yeah, okay, well, we'll go reactivate that tower, then stop by HQ, because uh, 
I think by reactivating the towers we have a more power efficient HQ, or it frees up resources, so that might help us as well. And then we will create an agreement with uh, Oberlin Station to start transferring power to the HQ and see see how much that gets us. Probably not much. Okay, we're not going to attack things with the Vitamatic. Uh, we could. Okay, Lupus Range, we're out of ammo. Um, we'll go with Margaret for a while. Last any simps we come across. Okay, so the tower is... This away. Uh, hmm. I think I'm going to go around these guys. Because I don't want to fight them. And they haven't noticed me because they are super mutants and they're dumb. Okay, um, I'm only four episodes into the Fallout TV show, but uh, I'm sure someone in chat can answer. Do we get super mutants yet in the TV show? Or is that something they decided that is too difficult to even try? Because I'm guessing they'd probably have to uh, have a lot of CG for that. There's ways they could do it with people in uh, costumes, have a blend of costume and CG. But I feel that they would have decided that that's too much effort. Okay. Oh, it's right here. I'm blind. I did not see this giant radio pole sticking out. Is this the one with all the oil on the ground that always tricks me? Yeah, I don't think it is. Oh. But it is the one with more rats. And we currently have the more rat disease. I don't need any more of that. Oh, it's Brute Mother. Ah, ah, I've dropped, I've dropped, I've dropped. Jump. Okay. We'll get the uh, Brute Mother to mutate. Maybe. And then we'll let our AP build up. And we're going to blast it with the shotgun. Where is it? Where is it? It's here somewhere. Hmm. There it is. Bam. Beautiful. Because knowing my look, if I didn't kill that thing, as soon as we got this tower up, Jake would call me on the radio, and then we would die. Uh, only a glimpse of a super mutant, a hand under a blanket. Oh, okay. Was that like a tease, or was that them sort of uh, trying to get around not showing us a super mutant? Like uh, there was a scene with it, but it's behind a curtain or something. Hi, it's Lupe. Oh, it's Lupe. Jacob's in the bathroom right now, but it looks like you just activated Relay Tower 0SC527. Great job. Relay tower number four is now active. Oh, wait. I can hear something. <laughs> Speaking of mutants. It's... It sounds like a super mutant. And a lady talking? Weird. Huh. I didn't think super mutants knew how to use radios. Maybe you should listen in. Might be interesting. Hmm. I think I know... Uh, which quest that is. I think there's a bunker. Is there? And uh... Let's, let's have a listen. Okay, we're, we're too... too far away to hear. Uh, Erica says it was a lab or something. Haven't actually seen the episode yet. Uh, so it's just laid out on a gun. Ah, so it's dead. Yeah, I had a feeling they wouldn't... Um, they wouldn't put too much effort into making the super mutants. Uh oh. Well, they're, they're being raiders. I'm going to stop following the signal. And we'll just go back to the uh, HQ. Which is just over here. I am hoping the show does get better. I, like, I want it to be good. Um, and, you know, it's a, it's a shame the first few episodes didn't really do it for me. But at least I'm happy. Uh. Now that the episode seems to be getting better. Huh? Hey, it's Gibbs. Okay. 
How have things been going at the HQ while I've been gone? It does look like they've been doing tasks, which is nice. Uh, how do I do this? It's logistics. The facilities department has successfully um, refurbished another set of batteries for improved convenience. No settlements are available with supply agreements with. Hmm. Did I do this wrong? Most likely. Sever supply agreement, create supply agreement. Uh, maybe we already had an agreement with Oberlin Station. Uh, Erica says, I think they might bring in uh, bigger foes once they know they'll get the funding for it. Ah, in terms of like a season two? I think they're going to get a season two from the sounds of it. Okay, we can assign staff. Design database. Plants will be able to upgrade immediately if building plan has been upgraded previously. Oh, now that's a nice upgrade. Caravan Expeditions. Buildings will connect between world spaces. Mm. Oh, that's a nice upgrade here. Uh, Undercover Hat says, The automatic build system in the HQ looks like it needs a uh, much bigger recruitment drive. That's a lot of... <laughs> yes. Well, the, well, the problem is uh, we don't have that many settlers because, like most people who tend to just play through this game, um, I, I have ignored settlements. The whole thing that the mod's meant to be about but I'm just rushing through the story, mostly just to comment on things, and so uh, not been putting as much work into settlements as I should have. Uh, Spoons said it's already been announced. Uh, I guess you mean season two for the Fallout show. And that's not too too uncommon these days. They do seem to often have uh, sort of season one, two, and maybe three sort of nailed down before things even begin. I think that was the case of Rings of Power. So even though that did not go well, the agreements were already down for there is going to be a season two regardless. But well, they're probably cutting back on a lot of the funding for that. So that may be the case with the Fallout show as well. Like, regardless regardless of how well it went, uh, there was always going to be a season two. But uh, it seems like it's been going well. So uh, that's good for them. Establish agreement, sever agreement. Okay, let's see what happens if we sever. Uh, okay, so we already have an agree agreement with Overland. Eh. We already have an agreement with Overland. There we go. That was a mouthful. So they are sending power. Does it, has it updated on uh, here? <laughs> okay, I think they're probably not sending anywhere near enough power to actually meet our power needs. Hmm. I think this maybe have to, something I have to do off screen maybe. Just actually spend some time building up uh, these settlements and such. So uh, for now, let's go speak to uh, the owner and do prodigal, 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 prodig, word, this word, what's the word? Prodigal, prodigal. I can speak. I write things for a living. <laughs> but I think this is the Raphael recruitment quest, which I've only seen... I think I've seen it played for at least once on a stream, but I've only seen sort of it in development. I've not actually experienced it, so uh, let's go do that. Okay, so Fiona, I'm going to guess she's in the uh, Nightingale HQ, which is... where is it? It's in the hospital... Is it over here somewhere? Hmm. So we have the NLTC over there. The hospital is... There's Taffington. Where the hell are the Nightingales? I swear they were like around here somewhere. Maybe it's the Mass Bay. Maybe we just haven't called it Nightingale HQ. Maybe we should. I think we can rename uh, vanilla locations. Or remove the uh, the map tags and just replace them so it seems like we've renamed them because I think GNN is now called HQ yeah GNN HQ so we can do that yeah we've got the we have the door control so I, I'm fairly sure this is where we put the Nightingales we just haven't called it Nightingale HQ but I think we should one day in, in many years, when we're finally at the stage where we do tiny, you? tiny things. Okay, we have default Nightingale. Random guard. Yeah. Out of my way, Nightingale. I'm important. I rule the entire Commonwealth, don't you know? Yes. Ooh, I like all these workers and people who have come in. Huh? I think this is something uh, that was in some of the recent patches where... Yes. Uh, more, more life's been brought to the hospital, so we have more workers. Um, 
I can't see her. I think the idea is also we have some radios. Oh, Please look. Remain calm. We have protectrons as well. Uh, I think this is meant to be a result of the NLTC funding. Or it might happen regardless. I'm not too sure. But, uh, let's go find Fiona. Stop, uh, stop looking around. She's usually on the next floor, I think. Huh? Here's yeah, the regular nightingale. Huh. Okay. Let's uh, check my map. Let's, uh... Come up. Hmm. Where are you, Fiona? You're not hiding in that, uh... That other area. Is there a... Okay, we do have uh, one more floor. <laughs> I like this guy working reception. Okay, it says go outside, but I'm fairly sure that's another quest. I'm going to check... Oh, okay. I almost just uh, stepped into a shaft with no elevator in there, and I... Good job I'm in a hospital, because uh, that would have killed me. Ooh, nice. So it looks like we've... Uh... <laughs> I can harvest these flowers. Looks like we've uh, cleaned up this area as well. That's one of the things I like that we can do. So on exterior areas, we can't really do much cleanup because we have a rule of not touching anything in the base vanilla game uh, that could break stuff. So if you go to like the um, the church in uh, uh, not Quincy uh, Concord, you'll notice that yeah we have to like build around the debris here. But because this is an interior that we take over, we can do a lot more in terms of cleaning it up. And I think it looks lovely. And it gives you a, a nice sense of things are progressing, which is what we always wanted with SS2. Okay, I have no idea where huh? Fiona's hiding herself. Uh, Erica says, I think the whole uh, we already have a season 2 planned is a trick to make shows seem more popular than it actually is. Of course, in Fallout's case, it's actually popular. It seems to be very popular. I've not looked into it too much. Uh, it's just been through like word of mouth and the chatter I'm hearing online. Yeah. So I've not sort of looked at the numbers and what was spent on it and what they estimate they made from it, which is hard to know because um, it's it's an Amazon show. So it's not as if people have paid for the show. I guess they just see the viewer numbers and then come say, well, each viewer number we assume is like one dollar value. Therefore, we've made. Okay. Therefore, we've made a certain amount of money. Um, okay, I'm wondering if this is... This might have been patched already, because I am on a slightly older version. I don't tend to update unless there's a, a big thing. Uh, but this, uh, yeah. This isn't good. We're going to have to uh, cheat to get out of here. What's happening? It looks like the elevator uh, that's meant to appear here. Uh, so when I went to load the area by pressing this button... There was no elevator here, so we just had the shaft. And when I've travelled back here, it looks like it's just uh, it dumped me out over here because there's no elevator to stand in. So uh, I'm sure that's been fixed by now. But I am on a slightly older version. Erica says, You can tell the show is popular because the game sales have skyrocketed. Yes, I've heard that as well. Which, it definitely does seem like um, a missed opportunity that Bethesda didn't have the new enhanced version of Fallout 4 ready to go on the announcement of like on the show because like everyone's playing now they're probably going to get mostly through the base game yes. and then they're going to release the update version and you know that's it's not the best way they could have done it but I'm imagining it's just uh, scheduling just didn't turn out that way but that would have been the smart way to do it have the update either come out a bit before the show or have it come out at the same time. I have no idea where Fiona is, but I am enjoying seeing all this uh, nice clean hospital. <laughs> all these raiders sleeping in the beds. Gonna guy. Where is Fiona? Yes. Random hospital worker. Not a nightingale, just Aye. a worker. Yeah. I like that we can't interact with those guys to wake them up. 
Usually you could talk to them, they'd stand up and look at you and then just get back on the bed. Okay, we should probably actually figure out where Fiona is. I can. I was going to say sometimes I find Raphael and Fiona on the very bottom floor. Uh, but I don't know how to explain how to yes. get there. <laughs> on the very bottom floor? You mean um, the ground floor over here? Or is there a lower floor? We do have these elevators here. I don't know where these take us. Let's see. I'm guessing it just takes us to the uh, floor we're up here. Bing, oh. yeah. It feels like Fiona should be here <laughs> when you step off the elevator. Uh, Eric says it's a good way to introduce the new players to Bethesda games. Uh, I just got into playing the game and an update comes out and wrecks everything. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a very uh, on brand Bethesda thing to do, I guess. It's uh, They're getting the authentic Bethesda experience, especially if they start modding it uh, uh, on mods that rely on the, the script extender. And then that breaks. Do we get a cake? Do we get the cake? No. We never get the cake. Okay, I have zero idea where Fiona's hiding herself. Let's uh, turn off all my other quests and we will track her down. Okay, so speak to Fiona. Okay, outside, okay. Maybe when I was given this quest it did tell me where to go, but... That was like a week or two ago now, so I do not remember. Uh, no, there is no staircase. I think it's across the room and there's the dead raider. Ah, oh, okay, I think I know what you mean. Okay, so let's go outside. Uh, switch to the world map. Oh, oh! Okay, she's at the HQ. We were just there! <laughs> Is she, okay, is this because the Nightingales are allying with me? And so she's walked to the HQ to give us the ally speech, and then she's going to give us the uh, the quest to go find Raphael? I guess we'll find out. That's uh, that's funny, if that's what's happened. Jump. In which case, yeah, I guess we can't I'll update that, um, that, that quest there. marker to say go to the, to the Nightingale oh. HQ, because she might not be there. She might be at my trash hole of HQ. Oh, and we we had um, all of our a bug where have yep. all these guys are just sitting here forever. Starlight. Yeah. If you like, I could try restoring the projector system at Starlight Drive-In sometime, unless Ooh. you've already done so. That feels good to have some of those lines going. I'm proud to call you a fellow vault dweller. Hey, you and me should do a tour of the waste sometime. <laughs> but now they're all I'll show you some sights you might Yona. miss. Hey, you're a sight for sore eyes. I'm glad you're here. I can't be from the hospital for too long. And I didn't know where else okay, to turn. Okay, I guess she just comes here to give us the quest. Though, way I hear it, you have everyone in the Commonwealth asking you for something. I sure do. I'm always happy to help. And I'm always happy to hear that kind of attitude from someone of your impact. Now for why I asked you to meet me. It's Ellis. He's... missing. Well, sort of. It's a bit complicated. Let's say he went out to help some potentially dangerous people, and he hasn't come back since. Hmm. You've got to be kidding. I wish I was. We got a message from a small gang of raiders asking for a house call. We're not nomadic anymore, so I asked them to come in for treatment instead. The messenger insisted. I think Ellis overheard the conversation because the next thing I know, he packed a med kit and went out. He left a note saying he was going to catch up with the messenger and help the gang himself. And he hasn't been back since. I can't help but feel like it's my fault. Yes. Oh, I can't be like, yeah, it's your fault. Um, I'll find him. Don't worry. I'll get him back. I've gotten too used to uh, oh, thank you. writing for Skyrim I knew now. I could count on you. Uh, where I can write those Raphael things. is already out there looking the for Ellis. Exactly what I want. It's when he heard nice. about what happened, he just called me an idiot, grabbed his rifle, and stormed out. I think he recognized the messenger I described to him. Maybe an old friend, or more likely an enemy. Might even be from his old gang. Now I'm worried for both of them. Ooh. Could you find Raphael first and see if he made any progress? I need to know they have you keeping them safe. 
Okay. I'd better get started. I'm not entirely sure where he's headed, but here's some places he was seen last by my friends. Maybe you or your people could check them out. Good luck. I hope you bring them both home safe. Okay, find Raphael. <laughs> These guys are just gonna yes. sit here having their very, very, very long meeting. Hi. I wonder if I get rid of the chairs? Hi. So I think they're just stuck in these chairs. I think if uh, we can get them out of them, they'll go do what they're meant to, yeah. maybe. Okay. Uh, hopefully, this, uh, okay, let's save. Cause I'm, I'm going to do some Keep your ear. Some stuff now. Okay, we're going to... Not Teresa. Can I select the chair? I can't Ears select to the, the chair. Ground. Hello. Can I select a chair that no one's sitting in? Okay, chairs can be selected. I've just got to... Oh, hello. Get the right angle, I guess. So, blue pick chair. Okay. Sable. Oh, yes. I don't think it wants me to disable the chair. Uh, okay, let's try and move to play. So if we grab Lupe, uh, move to play. Will she sit in the chair? She's thinking Can about I it. Help you? Yes. <laughs> okay. Their AI is saying that they must sit in the chair. They have no option to sit in the chair. Their existence is the chair. Gunners make good use of the comm hub. Well, hopefully that won't break any future quests, but I guess we will see. Currently on route. Uh, because at the end of Commonwealth Rising, we do have that scene where uh, we're all meant to be in the comm array room. Please do not be Over here. To the Warning. So we're probably going to have, uh, I think Cassandra's fine, so we'll have Cassandra in here, uh, maybe someone else, and then we'll constantly be, be looking up to have conversations with those guys in that room. We made a mess here. Oh. Okay, let's pick that up. <laughs> I do like that the ASM can be broken into so many tiny pieces. Okay, I can't, I can't get that one. There we go. I'm helping, I helped, uh, someone else can pick up the rest of it. Ooh. Any more useful loot? Uh, we'll Mentex. Oh. I heard red roaches. Greetings, sir or madam. I'm gonna let my staff deal with that. Okay, let's go find Raphael. So, it says... Just find him. Okay, so... Let's get rid of that, remove marker, so he is maybe over here. Okay. <laughs> that is their life now, yes. The chairs. The chairs are everything. I asked them why are they why are they sitting all day? They asked me, well, why else do you think we wanted to build this HQ? It was just for the chairs. Okay, let's uh There we go. And we're off to find Raphael, and apparently tip raiders off to our to our whereabouts. Okay, the engineering staff are doing good stuff at the HQ. That is fantastic. They seem to be making their own power. I don't think it's helping our powers. <laughs> no, our power situation is still zero out of a thousand. I don't think that's something they're gonna. Oh, ah, uh, insects. Nope. I don't think that's anything they're gonna solve this uh, by themselves. So, um. Definitely at some point I'm going to have to go over there and make sure they've got all the power that they need. <laughs> they say, why aren't you sitting? Well, there was an empty chair. I think that was meant to be for me. I think they did want me to sit down. It's like one of those uh, horror mangas by... Uh, what's his name? I Ito something or other? Where he does those sort of surreal... Horror stories that aren't really scary, but they're just weird. You must sit in the chair. Everyone sits in the chair. We have a chair just for you. It is just the right size. This is my chair. It was made for me. What the? Oh, who's there? Okay, Raider over there, maybe. Well, someone. Okay, we're, we're close to wherever it is we're meant to be going. Oh, hi guys. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. 
Sounds like are oh, the brotherhood here? I think the brotherhood are here. I think that's what's happening over there. That all super mutants. I don't think we have to climb, but I wanna see oh, I wanna see what's going on over there. Doo -doo -doo. Is it the Rust Devils? Maybe? <laughs> I see arms flailing. Yep, okay. I think it's the uh the automaton DLC is firing off over there. Is that the location where it happens? I think it might be. But we will let the robots fight. We're, we're not. We're not part of that. We're here to find Raphael. That is what we're focusing on right now. Jump. And jump. Yep, it's automaton. <laughs> I've not played uh, Bar Harbor in, in years. I remember that being my favorite DLC. And I've not actually played uh, Nuka World yet. That's, uh, it's around the back. I always tell myself that when I do my final playthrough of Fallout 4, that's my, like, last quest. That is my, my goodbye to Fallout 4. But, as often happens when you start playing a heavily modded game, you get distracted, or you start playing something else, and then the next time you come back, you're like, ah, I'm, there's new mods, I need to mod things again, start from the beginning. Imagine them office uh, c c cruising in those chairs all over the HQ. We, we could get uh, robot chairs, I'm sure. We're, we'll be getting Magnuson later. That seems like a very, very small project for such a smart man. Uh, hmm. Kind of expected there to be some loot over here, but maybe not. Ooh. Bloody handprint. What could this mean? Now, I do believe... This is, could be wrong, the first cell that Cynical Bounce ever made. So Cynical is the main writer for the the NLTC and the Nightingales. And of course, Raphael. And she wanted this quest in the mod for quite a while. But we had no one to do ah, important things like level design. And so eventually she just said, you know what? I will do it myself. And so I think this is the first uh, thing that she designed in Fallout 4 and possibly in general. I think she maybe did some stuff for Skyrim first before this. So, some experience though. Use my overpowered gun to kill the insect. <laughs> Just ignoring me and walking away. I'm fine with that. Woo, cynical. I agree, Can. Woo, cynical indeed. And I must say that, so that she continues to do things like make good levels and, and help me out with writing when I get stuck. I can't say boo, cynical. I mean, I could. But I'm fairly sure I'd get a smack on the head. Bam. Oh. I missed. I'm fairly sure I can just smack this thing into it. Yep. <laughs> I'm just wasting my ammunition on these things. Hmm. I'm wondering if we still need to do a uh, loot pass on this area. Ooh. Speaking of loot. Won't be able to hack this. Oh, look at all that loot. Okay, I do have some perks saved up. Let's see. Uh, intelligence. Expert terminals. Master terminals. Fantastic. I think this is only an expert. Uh, troubles. It's a bit like troubles. It's a bit like precious. Nope, it's a bit like pilgrims. Nope. Let's start again. We're brute forcing it. Is it like frequent? Nope. Is it like that? Nope. Is it like that? Nope. Is it like that? Wait, I only have one more? No, I have two more. Nice. There we go. And that's how you hack things. Whee! Okay, I want the buff out. I want the turpentine. I want those stims. I want that water. And some abroxo. Why not?
Hmm. I'm wondering if the lighting needs uh some fixing here. Is that my pit boy? No. These guys seem to be lit a bit funky. Hmm. But the lighting looks fine. So it might just be uh the Fallout 4 engine. Lighting is something we've been uh, struggling a bit with uh, with Skyrim. Because I think it works a tiny bit differently than what we're used to. And at the moment we're trying to get a uh, particular cell lit. And uh, the lighting in it changes. Oh, it's Raphael. Ah, we helped. Oh, but not enough. Oh, look at him just beating these poor things. That's a tough mole rat. That's a very tough mower. Is that in here? What's going on? Okay, I'm looking intently at it. Okay, I I'm guessing maybe this is uh, on purpose because uh, we don't want Raphael to kill the thing. But it looks like uh, we're not able to kill it either. Okay, there we go. I think every time it was about to die, rats moved in after Raphael was hitting it, it was healing it. <laughs> A few rats wouldn't scare them off. Uh, I will get your blood. Uh, <clears throat> huh. You know, I was wondering when you'd show up. Fiona does seem to think I need a lot of rescues. Well, all the same. Glad you're here. Not thinking too straight myself. Uh, character lighting. C L R. Hmm. Uh, let's. Okay, let's. We're just gonna leave you over here. Is that the command? C L R. C L. Oh. Character lighting is now off. Let's go look at that mole rat that looked uh, kind of funny before. See if that made any difference. Run, 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 run. Okay, that looks. Different, maybe? Let's try CL. Oh, no. Ah, okay, yeah. Interesting. Uh, so, what is that exactly? Because that looks more correct when the character lighting is off. To my, my knowledge of uh, sort of the under the hood CK things, it is very rudimentary. It's mostly picked up from uh, watching the, you know, the, the actual people who know what they're doing doing their things. Because uh, I very rarely actually have to do any majorly technical stuff in the CK. Unless, uh... Oh, we lost Raphael. <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, he's following me. <clears throat> huh. You know, uh, I, prefer it I was off. wondering when uh, you'd show Thanks for trying. Fiona does seem <laughs> to welcome. think I need a lot of rescues. Well, all the same. Glad you're here. Not thinking too straight myself. What's going on? Can you bring me up to speed on the situation? Alice was stupid enough to follow a raider back to their hideout. Worse, it's my old gang. Should have known they wouldn't leave well enough alone. Figured I'd check out our old hole. Hasn't been long, thought they might still be here. Looks like Kane moved them elsewhere. Who is Kane? Who is this guy? Kane's the guy in charge. Knew him almost as long as I'd been alive. We got into this shit together. Everyone else is gone or dead by now. He was always the smart one. Knew how to pick our targets. Went to pick up and move to keep the heat off. Considering how hot you made the Commonwealth, guess I should have known they'd be long gone from this place. So, what now? Good question. I don't know. No idea where they'd get off to. You make a decent detective, right? So, do your detecting thing. They travel light and wouldn't bother sweeping their trail, so maybe. Okay, search for clues. I guess we do that over here. Oh. Can I can I touch it? Yep. One of Kane's kills. Asshole got lucky with a shot. Saved my hide from getting ripped to shreds. Didn't think you'd ever leave that behind. That one was for food, not trash. 
After a good day, we'd drink and talk through the night. On the bad days, we drink and sulk instead. Oh, what's over here? A bed. What can you tell me about this bed, Raphael? Living with a bunch of raiders, oh. you learn to sleep through everything short of gunfire. Nightingale camps ain't much different. What can you tell me about this first aid box? Empty. Huh. Must have gotten into an ugly scrape if they actually used the medical shit. What about this box? Hmm. That's where shit went downhill, think I'm about it. Psycho especially. That stuff makes a lot of dumb ideas seem like fun. The other camps took the edge off afterwards. I think we're probably meant to come here and find this holotape. A holotape? Kane had a terminal around. Yeah. Busted on their way out. Go figure. Not like I'd get anywhere trying to read it. Hey. Okay, I guess I meant to listen to the holotape. See. It was called Kane's Halting. A good neighbor. Kane, remember that nice, simple little dead drop system we developed? The one that keeps the goods moving and the mayor out of our goddamn business? Well, that won't work so well if your minions keep coming around to the third rail to beg for chems in advance. You were the one that wanted a low profile, so teach your goons the fucking concept already. My cut's not big enough to put up with this shit. Love, Jay. The third rail. What about it? They're not holed up anywhere near Good Neighbor, that's for damn sure. Nothing here! Shit. Shit, where the hell would they go? I don't know. But you should focus. Stay with me, pal. Focus. All right. Huh. Yeah, all right. Wait. That hollow tape. You said third rail. I think I know what can point us to them. She left before I did. Though she still deals with the gang. Trades their loot for caps and chems. Who is she? I want more details than that. Jade's an old, uh, I guess you can say friend. Never had the stomach for the kind of shit we ended up doing. When it got rough, she left. We didn't leave things off on good terms. She's not one to take chances. But she might help for old time's sake. All right, let's go find her. Do you know where I can find her? Holotape signed J, right? Sounds like she's still haunting the third rail in Good Neighbor. Best start there. Didn't even think of her. If not for you, I might as well be banging my head against a brick wall until none of this shit's my problem anymore. Oh, Raphael. Okay, we we have a new console command to to try. I wonder if this will uh, change the lighting on Raphael as well. So let's uh, deselect uh, CL rim 0.02. Okay, that didn't change Raphael, but let's go see if it changed anything on uh, the mole rats. Any more chems? Nope. They used all those all those chems on themselves. Good job, Cynical, in this cell. Other than the lighting on the mole rats. How dare you? Bag of concrete. Uh, that was the default value. Did it get changed in a, in a patch at some point? Yeah, that's looking better compared to what it was before, I think. Still a bit shiny. Okay, we'll go this way. I'm not sure if we had a fast way out of this, uh, of this place or not. Usually we put an elevator or a block door you can uh, go climb through. Yep. 
so I may have just uh, been dumb and missed that. But hopefully we can exit out the uh, the way we came in without any problems. Oh, wait. I got lost. Okay, there we go. Climb, climb, climb. Okay, let's uh, let's go find this friend of Raphael's. And I think we'll probably be wrapping up in about 10-20 minutes, uh, because I'm hungry, I want pizza, and I also do have some uh, work to do on our Skyrim project. Okay, good neighbor is... is it in this mess over here? It is. Why is it not selected? Go to third rail and good neighbor. Go to third rail and good neighbor. Hmm. I'm going to ignore that and go to the third rail in good neighbor. Uh, it meant uh, current value in case you set it back. Ah, I get you. I think I just turned it on and off again. Is Raphael following me? Okay, he's following, so that's good. You're not who I'm meant to be talking to. Okay, that's uh, Hancock's bodyguard. Third rail. We used the third rail, I think, at least three times in SS2. I could be wrong. It's a nice, uh, central hub. Ah, oh, this place. Come on. Let's find Jade and get what we need. Okay, let's find Jade. Where is she? Do we get the choo-choo train song? No. Boo. Look who it is. Hey, Jade. I need a favor. Wow! <laughs> How about a... Hello, I missed you. Why, that's so sweet, Rav. They told me you were dead. Oh, just Kane being melodramatic again? Guessing they missed out the part where I was still alive when they left me for dead. Can we skip the I told you so's? After the years I've waited to say it, I'm entitled. I told you so. Guess you found friends in higher places, though. That just figures. Hello, it is nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. And manners to boot. Refreshing in a place like this, not gonna lie. I'm Jade, but now I'm just trying to figure out what the hell you're doing talking to me. After how we left things, I'm not exactly up for sharing a drink and shooting this shit, Raph. What? Not even if I'm buying? Smartass. That's always been your damn problem. You never know when to shut up and take shit seriously. No wonder it got as bad as it did. Hmm. Okay, that's that's what we were here for, Ellis. So, uh, let's let's ask that question. Looking for someone who's gone missing. Gang lured out a nightingale, a dog by the name of Ellis. We tried the old hideout, but they moved on. So, <laughs> where'd they go off to? Jade. More You're like kidding. jaded. You're looking for a stolen Good inside, nightingale. Good Well done. I heard rumors they let raiders sign on for guard duty, but I thought I'd hit the drink too hard. No way, Ref. You got a second chance on a silver platter. I'm not gonna help you give Kane the satisfaction of finishing you off himself. Besides, what do you think he'll do if he finds out I pointed the great big industrialist hero of the Commonwealth directly to his hideout? That's me. Oh, okay, we can... We can bribe her, we can say no risk, I, I can't remember what our charisma is, but let's try it. I'm not asking you to stick your neck out. Just point me in a direction. Look, Hooray! it's not like I got any reason to think you'll shaft me, but I still got some loyalty left. Crew got into some scrapes. With the amount of trouble moving around the wealth, raiders are getting nothing but bad luck these days. Last I was there, yeah, they had some guy patching up wounded. Didn't ask, didn't care. Figured they've herded him in at gunpoint or something. Come on, Jay. If you don't tell me where they went, I'm gonna hunt them down anyway. And if that kid's hurt, I'll make them beg for it. All this shit for some idiotic nurse that wandered into a raider den? <laughs> I'll be damned. Alright. Shit, Raph. Fine, I'll mark it for you. Just don't make me regret this. Thank you. Thanks for your help. Yeah, yeah. I guess I'm getting sentimental in my old age. Thanks, Jade. And, uh, I'm real sorry it just goes to show, things. it always pays to be polite. You know, I didn't mean half the shit I said to you when you left. Well, well. Nightingales teach you how to be a decent human being? Cute. If you survive, 
Come back and say it again. I might actually let you buy me that drink. No promises, though. All right. We got what we came for. I'll head for the place she marked and we'll meet there. Oh, off rail it goes. Uh, Erica says, third rail uh, for the quest, you meet Anton, uh, record the song for Frenchie, uh, now, now this one. So, yep, three times. Uh, more if you count that uh, HQ deserters can go here. Uh, that's a good point. Let's uh, see if Peace, we have brother. any HQ workers what, here. You need something to take the edge off? Fred Allen. Do they always go Hotel to set Rexford. locations? They'll hook you up. Hey, we got another uh, freak just won't fit anywhere else. Settler? Huh? Labor? Oh. Hey, maybe this will change your mind. Yeah, we do. We do have a deserter, and I think we know how to deal with that. I always knew you were a quitter. If that's what you want. Ow. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we need a song. Hey, Magnolia. Hello again. <laughs> Ow. Something I can do for you? Hang on. Let me just... Uh, ow. Uh, another song, please. Ow. Ow. I wouldn't mind hearing another song. All ow. right. I can try another tune <clears throat> for you. There we go. We need a song if we're going to have a fight. <clears throat> oh, she, she hasn't got much health, but she's good at blocking. Yeah. That's not the train song. I ain't letting you get me. Oh, but it's helping. Hooray! Settler acknowledges your strength and is heading back to GNN. Yeah, that's what I thought. Do we have anyone else? Drift, 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 uh, he was a drifter. He's a drifter. You're a drifter. You're Jade. You're a mannequin. Alright, I think we're good. Uh, I moved Kate to the HQ and she deserted. Oh. Okay, we need to figure out if we can... That seems wrong. It doesn't matter how much you abuse your companions, they should never be able to desert. I wonder if uh, robots can desert. Maybe it's worth me actually doing a automaton just so I can start building robots and sending them to the HQ. I know that's a, a very good way to sort of OP build things. Hmm, bottle caps. Yes, please. <laughs> He's got that animation uh, that you hardly ever see, I think. I think maybe he maybe does it randomly as an idol, if you take him as a companion. But that seems like something they uh, put into the game early, and then just like, ah, oh, we can't be bothered doing that for the rest of the companions. Oh, interesting. Over here. <laughs> yeah, I hope uh, he didn't challenge fate, uh, fate? Didn't challenge Kate to a fight either. Or fate, as we sometimes call her when you fight her. I am facing the wrong direction. I want to go... This way. Uh, we need a gun. Uh, weapon, weapon, weapons. Alien Bluster. Why not? Now, is this... Uh... This isn't the uh, Boston Mayor's bunker, is it? I'm fairly sure we went there before, for something. Okay, no, it looks like it's a... It's probably a vanilla house that we've slapped a door on, because we like to do that. Because then we're... We're sort of fleshing out areas that uh, maybe didn't have something before. Like there's some of those uh, old mods, I think some of them are quite outdated now, like... Uh, was it Beantown, Beantown Interior? Oh, there he is. Hey, Ruff. There you are. Hideout is nearby. I could be wrong, but I don't think they'll shoot when they see me. We could walk in and... I don't know. Get the lay of the land. Yes. That's a good idea. Hopefully we can prevent violence and save some lives. What? Yeah, don't care about that. I'll happily shoot the lot of them. But if we got a chance to play it smart, I can wait. <laughs> Damn it! Why the hell did Alice have to go and pull this shit again? 
I just love rescuing idiots. The moment I look away, he's doing something stupid. I thought after the last close call, he'd settle the hell down and grow up. Instead, he's out here looking for ways to get shot. Because he's dumb. All right. No use in talking. Let's just get in there and find him. And remember, don't start shooting till you're ready. Oh, just went zoop. Okay, we are going to save here for today. And tomorrow... We're going to... Tomorrow? <laughs> Next week. Not tomorrow. You guys aren't that lucky. Next week, we'll uh, start off from here. Not tomorrow. Next week. Uh, back to chanting. There we are. So, this is the point where we start wrapping things up. So, if there's any, any questions that came up during the playthrough, or any questions in general. Either about... Oh, it's like a comfy my chair. Either about SS2... Or about maybe the Fallout show, because we have discussed that today. Or any of the Skyrim projects that we're now working on. Now's the time to ask them. Uh, and if there's no questions, we wrap up, we say goodbye. And my game's still running in the background, so someone starts shooting at me. Let me just save and exit, instead of just alt-tabbing out. Okay, we did save. Fantastic. And now we also exit. There we go. Ah, but uh, we had a late stream today. Usually we try to start a bit earlier, but uh, I did have a meeting with the SS2 guys. We normally do that, eh, normally every two weeks, uh, or every week if we're sort of on a... On a... what would you call it? When we're sort of trying to get a, um, a big patch out or something. Uncovered Hat says, I think I'm going to watch the Fallout TV show tonight. Well, hopefully. I hope I've not ruined too much for you, if you happen to uh, watch my last stream. <laughs> I mean, my ranting was all over the place, so I don't think I spoiled too much, really. Uh, but I'd say, um, if you can, each episode's about an hour. Try to watch the first three episodes. Just in case you have the same reaction I did, where uh, after the second episode, I, I didn't... I, I, was fe I wasn't feeling the show after the second one. The second one kind of... Uh, ruining things for me just a tiny bit so if you can set aside three hours I'd say watch either the first three episodes or just watch the first episode take a break and then watch uh, episode two and three together back to back and hopefully you'll have a slightly better experience than I did it's uh I'm, I'm, I'm hoping it's gonna be good <laughs> once I finish all the episodes and I can look back at the thing as a whole and decide okay a rough start maybe but towards the end it definitely got good but I think most people aren't as uh, picky as I am. So I think most people could probably watch the show and have a good time. But I think we are going to call it there for today. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. Uh, we will be streaming next week unless something comes up, which occasionally it does. Thank you. And, oh, wait, Erica just looking that. Got no question, just the usual wish you good luck with the projects, a good night, and thanks for the stream. You're very welcome. <laughs> And it's um, dinner time for me, a very late dinner time. And then uh, some more work on our current Skyrim project. Hopefully no one's been pinging me while I've been streaming with very important questions. I don't think so, though, so I think we're good. But as always, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.